I'm dreaming of the start of fire Hi guys, I'm Paul Old Tricks here, back to another Clash Clans video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the next Clash Clans update. I think this is going to be a major update. I'm going to be talking about a few new features that is coming in this update as well. And let's get into it. First off, guys, I want to start by showing you a few new things that is coming in this update. And I'll list them off right here. I'll show them on screen right here. Uh, the first thing is a new air defense level 9 and air defense 4 through 8 upgrade cost and time is decreased. I think what Supercell is trying to work with right now is like they've noticed that a lot of high level players are working with mostly high level air troops and air armies and stuff. So I think that's what they're trying to balance out because this is a balancing update but there's going to be major changes with the game and something I want to talk about in a minute is I'm really stoked about but I'll, I'll touch up it in a minute. Uh, the next thing is wall level 12 limit increase for Town Hall 11. I think this, I don't think this is really needed because I think the game already has enough walls like 25 for each Town Hall I think is how much it increases I think that's plenty enough walls because if you look at like Town Hall 11 bases and stuff they are maxed out with walls like absolutely packed I'll show you a picture or something right here and as you can see they are packed with walls already I don't think there's a need for 25 or 12 yeah or 25 more walls because I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be is 25 more but the next thing is Hog Riders levels 5 through 7 hit points increase. I think this is actually needed because the Hog Rider actually does have kind of low hit points. And it's really needed because it is a really good troop and it needs to be buffed by my opinion. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think and if you think they should be increased or not. Uh, the next thing is the minor hit points increased uh, all for all levels actually. Not just like one or two like the Hog Rider is. But it is for all uh, levels of the troop and everything they will all hit points increase for all levels and I don't have the minor yet so this isn't a really big thing for me at all because as you see right here I'll show you on screen right here that I don't I don't even have the minor and the hit points though it it does seem like it needs more hit points for its health and everything but that's my opinion let me know in the comments what you think but the dragon levels 4 through 6 damage increased, I really do not think this is needed. To me, the dragons are overpowered as is, because in war, like, all you really see anymore is, like, all these new players, all they use is dragon armies and completely demolishing bases. And I really don't think it's needed at all, because they're overpowered, they're really extremely overpowered. As you can see right here, their hit points are 2300, damage per second 180. I just really don't think it's needed. That's just completely my opinion. I don't know about y'all, but that's just my opinion. Uh, the next thing is P.E.K.K.A. levels 3 through 5 damage increase. I also do not think that is needed because, like, the P.E.K.K.A. is also overpowered with damage, I think, because, look at the hit point, hit point, huh, hit points right here. It's 3,100 with damage per second, 270. That's stronger than the Dragon, and it's getting increased. But only levels 3 through 5. I only have a level 2, so that won't be anything for me new. And if they were doing something with the wizards, though, I am currently upgrading my wizards another 7 days. But the next thing is witch spawning rate increased uh, from 6 seconds to 5.6 seconds. So nearly half a second shaved off of that. I think it's not really going to be much of a deal. But over the past few months, Supercell has been doing a lot of stuff. Or not the past few months, but the last few updates. They have been doing a lot of like buffs and nerfs with the witch, so I just I don't know what they're doing with that. I think they're just like really trying to find where the witch is, pretty much with its damage and uh, its spawning ability and everything. But I know the question you are all asking, more than likely, is when is the update? Personally, right now I have no idea. The only thing I can really conclude at the moment is it will be coming in March. That is what I'm pretty sure because it. On their uh, Supercell's forums, the official forums, you can see that uh, it shows up as their ba uh, balancing updates will be coming in March. So it should be within the next two weeks is what I'm thinking, or maybe this week or next Monday or something I'm thinking. But I'm not sure. That's just what I think. Uh, when I get new information, I will let you know in an updated video of this. But the biggest thing I want to touch up on is out here in the ocean. I'll show you a picture right here. Probably the 
biggest update to the game is the, uh, whatever it's called, I can't remember what it's called, uh, the shipwreck, there we go. It's going to be out here in the ocean, and this has been something that Supercell has been hinting at and getting leaks about since back in December. Uh, what this is, the shipwreck, it is a shipwreck that you can repair, sort of like the clan castle. It's a repairable building, but it goes out into the ocean and collects loot and stuff for you. It brings back like a certain amount of loot every day, depending on your town hall and stuff. This is just a few leaks that I found, but I'm not sure. I will be showing you a picture right here on screen. This is only for the Japanese forum, though. On the American forum, though, as you can see right up here in the corner right there, you cannot see that there is a ship on the American uh, forums. But for the Japanese, you can see that there's a shipwreck or a ship out in the ocean up there. And I think it's really interesting, and Supercell has been hinting at this for months, and I'm really looking forward to it. And let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you loved it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.